Hello and welcome to a new video discussing dynamic array functions, video number 10. No need to remind you that dynamic array functions are working only with Office 365. If you are using any other version of Excel, you won't be able to practice the exercise in this video. In this video, we will compare between XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP functions and we'll ask you to decide which one to choose in which situation as we are going to look at eight different situation or comparison points. First one will be the exact match and then from right to left, horizontal search, full row, approximate match, using wild cards, if not found, and finally, the last to first or reverse search. Let's go directly to Excel and look at the first one together. On the left hand side, you'll see a table containing information about the staff. You can see the staff ID and some other information. And on the right hand side, I have three IDs. I need to retrieve the last name for these three IDs. First time using the VLOOKUP and second time using the XLOOKUP. Let's start with the VLOOKUP. Equal VL VLOOKUP is your best choice. Tab. Then let's follow the screen tip. First requirement or first argument is the lookup value. Let me choose K4 containing the first staff ID and then comma to move to the second argument table array. Where is the table day that we need to search in? For sure will be a partial table of this big one because I need only the last name. So I need to search the IDs and retrieve the last name. So I'm going to select the two columns containing this two piece of info and then I'm going to hit F4 and this because I'm going to copy the formula down I need to have the reference as absolute reference to look the reference while copying the formula down and then comma for the next argument which is the column index I have only two columns so I'm going to select two this is representing the second column the column containing the info that I want to retrieve and finally if you want to do the match with approximate match or exact match in our case exact match so I'm going to select false and the default for this function is the approximate match so if you omit the last argument it will by default go to the approximate match which is something that we don't need to do finally I'm going to close the bracket for VLOOKUP and hit enter and if you double click on the bottom corner it will send it down as you can see here but remember that we are working in office 365 so let me delete second and third formulas and double click on l4 to go to the edit mode and instead of selecting the lookup value as a single value like we did here i'm going to enter the entire array so i'm going to drag this down so now the lookup value you can see it's k4 to k6 an entire array as a lookup value and if i hit Control enter you will see that the formula the vlookup formula will spell automatically to bring the three answers that you are looking for so now we see how we did it using the vlookup let's do the same using the xlookup so i'm going to start with equal xl my first choice and the only choice is xlookup tab follow the screen tip first requirement is the lookup value it will be the entire array we are working in office 65 as we mentioned comma for the second argument this time it will be the lookup array so let me select the lookup array for sure it will be the column containing the staff id and then comma the next argument will be the return array return array will be the last name column i'm going to select and then close the parentheses for the x lookup and enter and luckily the default for the xlookup function is the exact match so no need to add anything after deciding the return array and you can see here we managed to do it using the two functions the vlookup and the xlookup please tell me which one is easier for you in this example i need to get the first name you can notice that i have the same information the staff id but on the left hand side of the staff id i have the first name and i need to look up the first name using the staff id as we did in the first example first time using vlookup and then using the xlookup but unfortunately vlookup will not help you if the search column on the right hand side vlookup cannot help you at all you need to get a copy of the search column and put it on the left hand side and then start your vlookup function however in xlookup it's very easy you can directly do the formula because the lookup array is independent from the return array so you can just write equal xl and then tab 
lookup value i'm going to select the entire array comma the lookup array will be the staff id comma the return array will be the first name no problem right left no problem close the bracket and enter and here you go the answer is ready for you i think in this case for sure xlookup will prevail in the comparison this time we're going to look at the horizontal search if you have the lookup table in the horizontal direction like this one and in this case you want to look up the bike price using the vlookup from this table you need to bring the price of the bike actually using vlookup this is impossible it will not help you at all however you can do it using a sister function to the vlookup called hlookup let's try it together equals hl first choice hlookup tab the lookup value will be the bikes then comma lookup array i'm going to select my horizontal table and then comma row index remember when we use the vlookup they call it column index but this time it will be called row index because it is in a horizontal direction so i'm going to select two and then zero or false double click on false and then close the bracket and enter and here you go let's try this time with xlookup equals xl tab lookup value will be the bike again comma lookup array will be the list of the products and then comma the return array will be the list of the prices or the array of the prices and then close the bracket and enter and you can see that xlookup is working in all direction vertical horizontal no matter what direction in the next example i want to retrieve a full row from this table you can see that i have the same three ids and i have the list of ids on the left i need to bring all the information to the right of each staff id so in this case i'm going to use vlookup and then xlookup let's start with the vlookup so i'm going to hit equal vl and tab the first argument is lookup value i'm going to select the three values together in order to give a full array to the vlookup function but remember that i'm going to drag it to the right so i need to fix the reference so i'm going to hit the f4 and then comma table array let me select the table array i'm going to start with the column including the ids till the end of the table because i'm going to bring all information from this range and then i'm going to select till the end and again i'm going to hit f4 because while dragging to the right i need the reference to be to stay the same as an absolute reference and then column index and here is the tricky part i'm going to give two because first requirement is the last name and the last name in this table is the second a column so i'm going to give two and then comma and false because this is also exact match and then close the bracket and enter and here you go the first column will be spilled automatically when i drag to the right you will see the same information will not change why because the column index will remain as two if you check this formula the column index here will remain two i need this to change to three and four and five and so on and so forth so instead of changing by my hand i'm going to undo this step i'm going back to the first formula double click to go inside the edit mode and instead of this two i already prepared a list of two three four five and six so i'm going to select this cell and then enter here you go the same answer now i can just drag to the right till the end and don't forget to select fill without formatting and here you go you have the full information coming correctly from the entire table no problem let's do the same using xlookup equals xl and tab lookup value will be the entire array same same the lookup array will be the column containing only the staff ids so i'm going to select this column and then the return array will be the entire table just after the id column and then close the bracket and enter and look at what happened it's spilled only in one direction it's spilled only downwards let's try something different i'm going to edit this one and instead of giving a full array in the first row i'm going to give only a single value and then enter now it will spell to the right and it will give the entire row but in this case i need to bring it down i need to drag it down so i need to make sure that i have all the references good i need just to fix the reference for the lookup array and for the return array so i'm going to use f4 here 
and select the other one and also F4 and hit enter now I can just drag it down till the end and here you go you have the full row coming very easy which one you are going to choose this time please let me know next one is the approximate match you will see that I have a list of quantities and a discount associated with each quantity if you get 0 to 500 there is no discount it's 0% from 500 to 2000 you will get 5% 2000 to 5000 will get 10% and above 5000 you will get 15% now I have some ordered quantities and I need to allocate the correct discount using the VLOOKUP and then for sure using XLOOKUP let's start with the VLOOKUP equals VL and tab lookup value this time will be the entire array of quantities and then comma table array will be the entire table the quantity on the left this is good and then column index will be two remember that the default is approximate match so I'm going to close and hit enter remember that the hundred is not exactly in this table so the approximation for 100 in this table is between the zero and 500 so the return discount will be only zero percent the 1800 is between the 500 and 2000 so the return discount will be only the five percent and same for the 3500 it is between the 2000 and 5000 so it will get only 10% discount and this you can call it the next smaller so it is searching for the exact or the next smaller let's do the same using the xlookup equal xl and then tab I'm going to select the entire array as a lookup value and then lookup array will be the quantity and then the return array will be the discount and remember the default for xlookup will be the exact match I'm going to reach the match mode by hitting comma twice now I need to, to select the match mode this time it will be minus one close the bracket and hit enter and here you go the same answer exactly but what if I need to bring the next larger meaning that for the hundred I need to give the discount five percent for the 1800 I need to get a discount for the 2000 10 percent for the 3500 I need to bring discount 15 percent so I can do this using the xcop but unfortunately vlookup will not help you at all let's try to do it using the xlookup i'm going to cheat i'm going to just copy the same formula control c inside the edit mode control v let me just change the range of the lookup value and then hit enter it will give me exactly the same answer now i can go again to the edit mode and in the search mode you remember here it was negative one let me take this out and look here you have minus one for next smaller and then one for the next larger and this is exactly what we want I'm going to select one and enter and here you go and instead of zero percent for the 100 it's now five percent and instead of the ten percent for the 3500 it's now fifteen percent and, and I think here it's no brainer if you are going to use next larger you have to use only X lookup In this example we are going to see how we can use the wildcard with VLOOKUP and with XLOOKUP let's start with the VLOOKUP what is required is to search for a name from this list starting with A or starting with M or starting with R let's start with the first formula equals VL and then tab lookup value here is the trick you need to select the first value and then you need to join it with asterisk why asterisk because asterisk representing any number of letters so if I join this with asterisk meaning that I'm telling Excel I need to look at something starting with A and then any number of letters so to do that I'm going to use the and percent which is representing the concatenation or the join operator so I'm going to write and and then double quote and then asterisk and then close the double quote and then comma here is my first argument which is the lookup value this k5 joined with the asterisk between double quote then the table array will be the only one column this column and then the column index for sure will be one and then comma I need the exact match again so I'm going to write false close the bracket and enter but remember that I can make this to spell directly so I can just drag this down so you can see that the lookup value 
will contain the range from K5 to K7 joined with the asterisk, no problem, and then enter, and here you go, you have the first name Atif, it is starting with A, and then Morsi, starting with M, and Raghib, starting with R. Let's do the same with XLOOKUP, equal, XL, and TAB. Lookup value, I'm going to select the three together. Again, I'm going to join them with the asterisk, comma, lookup array will be the last name column, and then the return array will be the same column, no problem, and then comma. Now I need to do something special inside XLOOKUP. I need to go to the match mode again. So in order to reach the match mode, let me do another comma to jump on the if found. And then here is the match mode. I have the zero for exact match. I have one and minus one for approximate match. And then I have two for the wild cards. Let me select two for the wild card and then close the bracket and hit enter and here you go it is exactly the same i think this time and trying to be honest with vlookup vlookup i think is much better and easier in this particular situation but again it's up to you and please tell me what do you think this time let's see what will happen if the value not found let's see what will happen inside the vlookup i'm going to start with the vlookup this is exactly the same example like the first one like the exact match example so i already copied the formula and inside the formula bar in the edit mode i'm going to press ctrl v in order to paste the formula and then hit enter it is okay for the first two lines it can find the name Mahmoud and then Morsi, but the staff ID 100 is not included in this list. So it will return an error in A. How to overcome this? I cannot add the formula inside the third or second row. I need to go to the first row where the formula is live in this cell. I can just edit. I'm going to use another function before the VLOOKUP function. I'm going to use if n a there is another function called if error it's not wrong but if n a is specified for n a so if there is any other error rather than n a it will not work with it and this is good for you because you're going to discover what other errors do you have in the same uh, function so i'm going to use if n a the value will be the entire vlookup function and then comma in order to go to the second argument what you want me to do if the value is not found i'm going to use double quote and i'm going to write a message like not found and close the double quote close the bracket for if and a and hit enter and here you go in case the value is found that's fine if not it will write not found let's do the same for x lookup i'm going also to cheat and get the formula from the first example control v inside the edit mode and enter here you go the same issue let's go and double click to edit and this time just after the return array if you do another comma you will see an argument called if not found and it is an optional argument because it is between two square brackets i can just put my message here i'm going to write again not found close the double quote and hit enter and here you go inside the same formula you can put your not found message or any other value you want to retrieve in case of the value not found please let me know which one is easier for you for you and why last one we are going to see if we can do a search from last to first and let's go back to the same example as the wild card you remember that we, we managed to bring the name Atif from this list if you check the list you will, you will see that i have two names starting with the letter a Atif and ahmed and because the vlookup starting from the beginning and stops once it find uh, what you are looking for so it bring only one name which is ahmed and then for m there is morsi Mahmoud, Morsi again, Mohsin and Muhammad. It brings the first Morsi because it's the first value found. And then Raghib, all with R uh, is Raghib. Actually, this is a coincidence, but it's fine. So it brings the, the first Raghib uh, from the list. And the same for XLOOKUP. What if you want to reverse the order? I want for uh, A to bring the last name, which is Ahmed, and for Morsi to bring Muhammad and for Raghib it will not make any difference but what if I want to reverse the order of the search so actually let's see what we can do for this unfortunately VLOOKUP will not help you at all let me try using the XLOOKUP actually I have the entire formula I'm going to copy it from here and paste it here and we can just change the array for the lookup value and then hit enter it will give me the exact answer 
again let me double click to edit and let's go inside the formula bar we have here the final argument that we used which was the match mode if you do another comma you will have another argument which is the search mode the default is from first to last but we need to change to minus one which represent search last to first double click and then hit enter and let's check now for a it it brings Ahmed the last name and for M it brings Muhammad the last name as well and R it will not make any difference so you can do it using XLOOKUP but unfortunately VLOOKUP will not help you this is a straightforward answer for this situation you have to use the XLOOKUP that was all for today please let me know which one do you prefer XLOOKUP or VLOOKUP like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel and also you will see some links please use it to have an idea about some important videos and some other series that we produced inside this channel thank you very much for your time and see you in next video and bye